Well, Jack, it's been 10 months, I mean, since you've been able to play a hockey game. How excited are you to finally be able to get on the ice and be able to play an NHL game against the Washington Capitals? Yeah, yeah, obviously it's been a while, and uh, this is what I love to do. Uh, so, yeah, obviously excited to uh, get the season kicked off tomorrow night and um, just start competing again. Jack Eichel, Mookie Hawkins, Waffle Sports 1080, man. How's it going? Good, man. How are you? I'm good. Um, what are some of the things that you've been working on to make you a better player this year? And um, how would this team, um, how would this team, what are some of the things this team need to do to make the playoffs this year? Um, you know, we obviously, we have a, you know, competitive division with a lot of good teams. So you know, I think it's just going to come down to one, trying to limit the, uh, the outside factors away from the rink. And obviously this is an unprecedented season with, uh, you know, what we're dealing with globally with the pandemic. And I think as much as, uh, as much as we can quiet the, uh, the outside, uh, you know, extra things that need to be taken care of, um, and, and keep, uh, keep everyone healthy and in the lineup, I think uh, it'll benefit us. Uh, with that, I think you find a bit of consistency through the season. There's going to be a lot of hockey and a short amount of time. So, um, you know, just trying to stay healthy and, um, you know, we know that there's going to be nights where we're not, uh, we're not at our best or, uh, it's just going to be how you bounce back. Hey, Jack, it kind of the schedule this year harkens back to college hockey, maybe one or two home and homes a year. And now it's almost every series, two games in a row against the same team. How does that impact preparation, video work, knowing that it's almost a two game series every time out? Yeah, I mean, I think, uh, you know, you don't want to, you don't want to, you know, have a team get your number and, and, uh, and be too many times. I mean, you want to just stay as competitive as possible. And, um, yeah, I mean, I think, uh, you know, like you said, it's it's a little bit different. You know, you don't play too many home and homes during our regular season. I think yeah, there's probably going to be some extra animosity. And, um, you know, if, uh, if tempers are high at the end of the game, you're seeing someone the next day, it probably carries over. So, um, I mean, I'm sure that the games are going to be uh, competitive as they always are. And, um, you know, I'm excited for it. Hey, Jack, uh, part of things being a little different this year, of course, with the pandemic, um, you guys are starting your season while the Bills have a playoff game. Um, how is that kind of shaping up for you guys, knowing like Bills are the talk of the town right now? And obviously you're a Patriots guy, but uh, do you have any message to send to the Bills this week? Yeah, good luck. <laughs> yeah, not much. I mean, uh, obviously we're worried about uh, – taking care of our business and, and, uh, and winning hockey games. But, uh, obviously, you know, we're, you know, fans of the bills, we support the, uh, the bills and, and want to see them continue to have success. So, uh, best of luck to, uh, you know, to everyone in Orchard Park and, uh, you know, find a way to find a way to stop Lamar Jackson this weekend. I got the bills in a uh, playoff pool. So, uh, you don't even have a good game. Thank you. Hey, Jack, it's easy to forget. Over the last couple of years, I mean, when you look at his game now, I mean, what are your thoughts on how it's evolved? And is he one of the, the young guys on this team that you're kind of excited to see how he uh, performs once the season gets going? Um, sorry there, you broke up for a minute. Uh, who were you speaking of? Uh, Darlene. I know he's only 20 years old, oh. but he's played a lot. You know, he's at the point in his development where it looks like he's gained, gained strength. I mean, are you excited to see where his game is at and in what ways have you seen his game evolve, you know, the last two seasons? Yeah. I mean, I think he just, uh, I think with, uh, with, with Rass, obviously you, like you said, he's, he's super young, but, uh, he's, he's played two years already and I think he's starting to learn, uh, the ways of the league and, and grow into his body a bit and, and get stronger. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I think he's doing a lot of the right things. I think he's taking the right steps in, in the uh, maturity process. And, um, you know, for him, I think it's just, uh, 
you know, continuing to be confident in his ability and, and knowing, uh, you know, how good he is and, and how dominant he can be and, and uh, just expecting that out of himself every night. And, um, you know, Rass is a, he's a special player and, uh, you know, we're going to need a lot out of him this season if we want to have success. And I think, uh, I think he knows that and, um, but he's a competitor. So uh, he works, uh, he works extremely hard on and off the ice and I think he's ready for a big role. Jack, watching the team the last couple of weeks, it just seems like there's been so, uh, quite a bit of improvement on this team, whether it's new players or players that you've had contributing more. What have you seen the last couple of weeks on the ice for the season? And even from a power play standpoint, with the guys you guys have brought in, are you confident that you guys can have a better power play this year? Yeah, it's going to be important for us to have a better power play, I think, yeah. Uh... Special teams is so important in this league, and I think it, it can help you a lot when, uh, you know, maybe your five-on-five -five game's not doing as well or, um, you know, whether it's your penalty kill stepping up big or your power play scoring a big goal for the team. So I think uh, you look at some of the best teams in the league, it seems like they always have good special teams, and it's, it's going to be a big focus for us this year. But, um, you know, obviously we've made some additions to our group, and uh, it uh, gives us more options in the power play. and makes us a little bit more deep. So, um, yeah, I think, uh, I think both sides of it are penalty kill. I think, you know, we need to improve that as well. It's, it's such an important part of, uh, of winning hockey games. And, um, so it's a, it's a tough loss, not having, uh, one of our best penalty killers in, in Zemgis, but, um, it's, it's an opportunity for guys to step in and, uh, have more of a role and, and make more of an impact. Hey, Jack, uh, you know, it seems like it's been forever since we've talked about this, but, you know, these last couple of years, there have been times when the highs have been pretty high and the lows have been pretty low. For you guys as a group, how do you just play a more consistent brand of hockey? Yeah, I mean, I, I think uh, it's important for us to not, uh, you know, this isn't, this isn't last year or any of the past years, so that's my mindset going into it. This is a completely new season with new players and uh, a, free, a, a fresh, clean slate, so uh, I don't, I don't speak of the last years, and uh, I think uh, you know when uh, when I'm speaking with you guys this year, I'd prefer if you didn't as well. This is a new season, and um, I'm not going to relate back to what's happened in the past. Or, um, but uh, yeah, I mean, I think uh, it, it's important to stay consistent in our season, and and um, you know, like you said, it's that that should be the goal of any team is to you know expect to win and. Um, you know, there's going to be a lot of hockey in a short amount of time, as I touched on earlier. And um, there's not too many, uh, there's not too many opportunities to rest on your, your victories or, um, you know, celebrate them. So it's going to be important for us to, uh, you know, win hockey games and then move on to the next uh, task, task at hand. Hey, Jack, Mike Paco from Hockey Buzz. You have two new wingers this year. Um, what are you looking forward to with each of them heading into the season, Taylor Hall and Tage Thompson? Uh, I think, you know, Halsey brings a, uh, you know, a, a special, uh, special, you know, dynamic part to his game where, you know, he can make a lot of things happen by his, by himself and he creates a lot and um, he puts the uh, defense on their toes a lot. So uh, he's a creative player who can make a lot of plays at a really high speed. So, um, you know, I'm really excited to, to, to get the opportunity to play with him. I think we'll be able to push the pace pretty well. And with a guy like Tomer, I think it's important for him to, you know, be able to utilize his, uh, his size, his shot, and his, you know, his ability to finish plays. And, um, you know, I think the three of us hopefully will uh, develop some chemistry quick and, um, you know, just, uh, just keep getting better every, every game. Hey, Jack, how strange is it going to be to see Zdeno Chara playing for the Washington Capitals, and how does he kind of change the dynamic of their back end? Yeah, obviously, Big Z, you know, we're, uh, we're so used to him in Boston, so it's going to be a different uh, different feel with him in Washington. But, um, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, he obviously has a lot of size and, and experience and, you know, some grit, and uh, he's tough to play against. And, um you know, he, he makes it tough to go to the front of the net. And, uh, you know, you can say a lot about Z's game and, and uh, his continued success over his career. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's a, you know, you just add another player to a good team and, um, you know, makes a 
makes it more of a challenge for us, but uh, I think it's a challenge that we're up for. So, um, you know, excited to compete against them and, and uh, everyone else in our division.